What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yozalea and today I will be showing you how to create an awesome vintage film look in Adobe Premiere Pro. And I know, again I'm sweating like crazy but it's still super hot in here. I should install an air conditioning but actually in Belgium it's never this hot so it's actually useless to buy it right now because the second I would actually invest in an air conditioning I'm 100% sure it will be freezing cold in here. So, all right, without further ado, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, see how to crack this cookie. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I already prepared some files. Uh, right here I have this video I created a while back with the Panasonic, well, actually not with the Panasonic, with the Samsung S8 Plus camera, uh, which was pretty neat. Uh, it had some great results um, and I wanted to create this now in a vintage style. So what I will do is drag this video into my timeline with its music layer, uh, keep the existing settings and I will just right click and unlink my audio for now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here on my timeline and what I want to do is, first of all, I want to make sure that this video is as big as my canvas. So I'm going to scale it up to 150. And there we have it. And well, first of all, now it's a widescreen aspect ratio. Old film look didn't have that. They have like a four by three uh, kind of uh, aspect ratio. But in this case, I will just use a simple asset that I created in Illustrator, um, the rounded square right here. I will put a link in the description so you can get that as well. And I will just drag this on top of this video layer. And if we drag it as long as it should be, uh, what we can do is just simply click on our video layer here and uh, go for effect video effects keying and just click uh, the simple track matte key here and if we apply this to our video layer we can go to the effects controls and choose this square uh, png file uh, to be as a example to be as a reference to show our video on so what we'll do is go over here to the track matte composite uh, composite using uh, alpha and the matte are we're going to look at the video 2 layer so boom, there we go. And of course it's still too big. So what we'll do is click on this layer here and just scale it down until it fits our sequence. And there we go. So now you can see that this video is playing through that icon. So that's a great way. I showed that technique in, pre in the previous video um, along with some extra handy tips and tricks. So if you wanna go and check that out, I will put a card in here on this video so you can uh, also check out that video. It's pretty interesting as a Premiere user. So, okay. We have this vintage uh, kind of overlay now uh, in this square, but we still want to adjust our colors to be a little bit more old school. So what I'll do is go into the color tab right here and I'm going to click on my original video, go to the basic correction. Well, actually I'm going to leave the basic correction as it is, or maybe just introduce a little bit of purple um, because that was something that uh, old films really had like a lot of problems with, like uh, and a little bit more orange, something like that. Uh, maybe less contrast maybe a little bit more out, um, over, like like outblown and exposed well whites and darken the shadows maybe and just increase the blacks just a little bit so now we have something like this um maybe a little bit too overexposed but yeah that kind of can get you like the kind of style you want to go for next we want to go into the creative tab and just decrease the um yeah vibrance so now we have less colors in there which is what we want and then for the sharpening we also want to lower this so we have like a little bit more of a blurry video so minus 20 or something should work uh here we will see that we have um yeah less sharp video and old videos never had like the perfect sharp lens so uh, and the resolution uh, is another thing so um yeah once you've done that you can really play around with these things also you can introduce maybe some greens uh, and maybe some purples more greens uh, because these were the two colors that were like most in these old film look styles okay already pretty cool in my opinion 
We can also go into the vignette right here in this tab and increase or decrease the amount uh, is better. And then also uh, lower the midpoint to the left. So we actually kind of center it right here and that will give that vignette here up here. So you can see if we toggle this off and on, we really get that old film look um, by using this. Okay, so that's great. We have something uh, to begin with. And now what I will do is click on my rounded square and I'm going to alt drag this on a new layer. And again, I'm going to drag it up a layer above and in between we want to add some kind of film uh, grain. So what I did here and I know, yeah, I have to do something about it. Uh, but what I did here is I looked online on YouTube in this case for a uh, film look kind of overlay because that's something that is recorded in these old cameras to get it as exact as you can. Uh, I do have a video where I teach how to create something very similar to that in Adobe After Effects if you want to do it yourself, uh, which is also an option. But the real cameras, the real organic motions of that film and the scratches and the things, um, these are very hard to recreate in uh, visual effects or in motion graphics. So that's why I prefer using real stock footage of that film camera so I already found that I can share it with you guys because I don't have the um, because I don't have the rights to but you can just look it up online and I'm sure you're gonna find it so just search for a old film look overlay so in this case I will just drag this video here uh, we'll double click on that and this is the video that I'm going to be using so you can see that we have these scratches I'm going to drag this on top here uh, just below uh, the new rounded square the reason why I made a new square is actually we also want to kind of cut this out so we're going to click on this and go to the effects controls and scale it up like so and then we want to go to effects and again to the video effects keying and apply this track mat and apply it to the um, yeah stock footage and here we want to choose it for video 4 there we go and now we want to change the overlay a little bit because currently we're only seeing gray so we'll click on this and we can either go for like a soft light which could be uh, a, a good one I think I'm going to keep it as it is right here but immediately you'll start seeing these scratches which uh, which are really interesting uh, you could maybe try and this is just a trial and error thing you can also apply like an inverted um, filter on this and then you will get these white kind of scratches which is also pretty cool maybe let's keep it as it is like uh, like this I, I really like the white scratches here okay so uh, we have our overlay but one thing that I like to adjust as well is like the sides it's like black it's too simple it's too too regular uh, and actually I don't know what is going on here we're going to make this a little bit smaller so that we don't see this edge okay you could also go to uh, this rounded uh, square here and apply a simple blur filter so we can go for blur and apply a Gaussian blur effect to our PNG image. And if we're going to increase that, it's going to soften these edges, uh, edges just a little bit. So maybe 50. And then we want to click on that effect and go for Edit, Copy. And we're also going to and we're also going to paste it on this uh, other square. So Edit, Paste. And there we go. So now we have a nice rounded uh, square, which looks a little bit older in my opinion. So uh, next what you can do is apply something else and again I can share with you guys because I don't have the rights to uh, but if you go to the project manager I have here a glass texture it's very simple you just take a picture of a window with something black behind it uh, so you have this kind of dark uh, well you have this kind of uh, texture which is really cool to use in videos so I'm going to lower this and see what we can do with it so this is a texture I'm going to scale it up and I'm also going to apply an effect to it so I'm going to head off to effects and search for RGB curves I'm going to apply the RGB curves to that glass texture the reason why I want to do that is because there is almost no contrast in my picture I really want to darken everything up and brighten up the uh, dirty parts in this case and then uh, what I want to do is change the blending mode as well to something like uh, screen uh, and lower the opacity. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch for the opacity so we don't make a keyframe and just lower the opacity to something very low. And this is just going to give some kind of um, dynamic uh, dynamicness <laughs> to the scene. How would you say it? Um, and maybe we want to scale it up a little bit more reposition it even you can really play around with this texture um, but this is a really cool thing to spice it up a little bit make it a little bit more uh, than a regular effect okay so now we have a really cool effect but uh, as you can see it's still playing very fluently and in the old days videos were actually not 24 frames per second or 60 frames per second in the old days it was more like 12 frames per second but 
I tried to recreate that with 12 frames per second. I still thought it was a little bit too smooth. So what I'll do is go for eight frames per second. And how we do that is actually with an effect. So um, I'm going to click and select everything. I'm going to right click and nest this. So it's like a pre-composition in After Effects. I'm going to nest this uh, layer, uh, well, these layers, and I'm going to just do like uh, film overlay. And I'm going to apply a few things here. So first of all, I'm going to apply one of our presets. You don't have to do that if you don't have these, um, but this is a preset, camera shake preset. And I wanna just add some kind of low, medium shake to it. And if we do that, it's just gonna shake it a little bit, uh, which is really cool. And if we are going to kind of make it like this, or actually, and that's just going to shake it up a little bit. And as you can see, it looks a little bit more like an old kind of style, in my opinion. Then next what I want to do is also apply some film burns and again this is from a pack of ours I will put all the links in the description if you want to check them out We also have a free version for the for the lens leaks But if you want the extended version um, that you can also find in the description below So the fast film burns right here are some really cool effects as you can see and are ideal for old film kind of looks So you can see that we have this kind of leaks of light and I'm only going to take a few seconds of this, press O on the keyboard and just drag this onto my timeline. And right here I'm going to click on it, go to the effects controls, make it 50 because it's actually 4K, uh, which is really nice that you can use it on 4K compositions, but this is a full HD, so we can lower it um, by 50%. So here we go to normal and change it to a screen blending mode. And then you will get this kind of nice overlays. So again, we can apply another one apply it here maybe go for a screen 50 and you're getting these interesting overlays which are really really cool in my opinion in this kind of style of a video so I'm going to do that for all of these just uh, kind of mix it up a little bit maybe apply one more here and there we go and one more at the end Okay, really cool. Um, yeah, forgot to set this to screen. Okay, um, so I did my basic setup, but one more thing that we had to do is that frame rate. So to do that, you can go to the effects and search for posterize time, time posterize. Not the normal posterize, but the posterize time. Apply it to your video. And here you can set in posterize time, currently set at 24 frames per second, like it is regular. We want to set this to 8 and of course you're going to see that your timeline is going to change to red because it's kind of a heavy effect so you'll have to pre-render your entire composition in order to be able to see it um, but it's a really cool effect for this kind of style. So before I'm going to pre-render it and show you the result, I'm also going to apply some audio here. And uh, this is an audio fragment of an actual old school filming camera. I just think that kind of helps to sell the effect. So I will apply this to my layers and just right click on it, go for audio gain and set this to minus 15. So it's not too uh, offensive and then alt and drag it over here and uh, just to make it a little bit longer like this. So we have this kind of film uh, sound effect on the entire video. And honestly, I think that's kind of it. So uh, what you can do as well, uh, one thing that I did was uh, I went into my um, layer here in my nested uh, sequence and I went to my video and I right clicked on it and set the speed duration to 130 uh, to speed it up a little bit, but still kind of uh, sell the effect here. Um, well, because to speed it up a little bit, to sell it, to give it some kind of other vibe, another kind of style, a more old film look. Uh, these movies always went a little bit faster because of the frame rate that dropped, but still, I didn't feel it was quite right, so I still wanted to give that a uh, little bit of extra spice to spice it up, of course. So, um, what you can do as well, as well as, of course, yeah, just trim your video, uh, well, audio layer, maybe do something like this, and then I will preview this. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I would actually go and take a very careful look at where the uh, transitions and the music would happen so I could shorten it down, um, but I'm not gonna do that for this video. I'm just going to shorten everything nice and tight and then go into the other sequence, which is this one, I think. Also make it shorter, there we go. Put the film burn effects here and drag this over here, okay. So one thing I forgot, but here we go. 
I'm going to pre-render it and show it to you guys. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like, also subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit that notification bar so you get notified when I upload, well, notification bell, so you get notified when I upload new videos. And apart from that, definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists, and if you buy something from our website, it really helps to support the channel, so that would be much appreciated. And apart from that, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.